Hello friends, I am Mukesh Singh. In this video, uh, we are going to uh, deploy React uh, JS app to Azure App Service. So Azure App Service is a fully managed app service from Azure where we can uh, deploy any kind of application like .NET, Java, Node.js, and in this case, the uh, React JS is a Node.js uh, application. So we are going to deploy it to app service and in a very easy way. So let's get started. As you can see here, I'm already logged in into Azure portal. So for creating web uh, app service, uh, we need to go here, app services. Then uh, now we have this create plus button. So create and web app. So here, uh, uh, I'm not going to create a new resource group. So I'll, uh, I'll selecting the pre, uh, previously created resource group. And here we have to give a globally unique name. So I'm giving uh, just my name, Mukesh, uh, and uh, app. So as you can see this uh, green tick, it means it's available, so I can use it. So code and runtime, as a runtime, uh, I'm selecting node uh, 18 and operating system as uh, Windows uh, region as US East. And uh, here I'll uh, Windows plan, I'll leave it as is. And uh, here in uh, pricing plan, I'm taking basic. Uh, you can uh, uh, take it anything uh, based on your requirement. And after that, I'll uh, uh, just leave everything as is and hit uh, review and create. Uh, so now review is done. I'll hit create. Uh, it will uh, uh, take some time. So I'll uh, just come back once uh, uh, the app service is created. So now uh, you can see uh, the resource is uh, created. So I'll click on go to resource. So when we come here, we uh, we see this uh, default domain. So it uh, it is provided by Azure a default domain. So if I click here, it will uh, open a default uh, uh, hosted website, a default page, as you can see it here. So now what uh, we want to do is we want to replace this one uh, this. Uh, 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 statically hosted uh, uh, page, uh, default page, uh, with our uh, uh, React JS uh, 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 website. So, so as you can see here, already uh, I had created this uh, uh, React JS uh, project uh, using Next.js uh, framework. Uh, so already I had created the build. So if you see here, I just ran now. Uh, the npm uh, uh, run build command. So uh, maybe for your sake, I can uh, run it again. So npm run build. So as you can see, it is a uh, building and uh, finally optimizing uh, pages and everything. So what it does is uh, it will create uh, uh, this out folder and all the <clears throat> uh, build file, like uh, the production build files are stored it here. So what we want to do is we want to uh, uh, replace those uh, static content, which uh, Azure has provided. Uh, with our our application so so for that purpose uh, I am back into uh, Azure portal so if we scroll down here we have this uh, advanced tools so in advanced tools we open that advanced tool In advanced tool, we have a debug console. So debug console and uh, it provides two options, CMD or PowerShell. So I, I choose CMD. And 
and here you see this site and inside site uh, we have this uh, www root uh, folder and here this is the default hosted page so what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, delete this one and uh, replace it with uh, the our content so delete yeah, okay here you can uh, see we have this uh, out folder so what we'll do is we'll go to this out folder and we drag everything and uh, drop it here so i'll just select everything and uh, drop it here and uh, as you can see everything is uh, uploaded here so if i go to this here and uh, if I refresh so now you can see uh, uh, get started to deploy with Mukesh Singh so yeah so thanks everyone thanks for watching and please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you